Welcome to Gospel Way Deliverance Ministry. One more time, our Bible study. This is your host, Pastor Boris, coming to you live and direct. Please, one more time, I'm asking for your um, civic duty. It's incumbent that we all play our part as a citizen who have a fiduciary to carry out such duty. So please, do your best and do your diligence. Did you know that the state of New York allows you to vote early in this upcoming election? Yes! Starting from October the 24th through and including Monday, November the 2nd, all citizens that are legal residents of the state of New York can vote early. Now, your early day location might be different than your regular election day polling site. Your early voting location is listed inside the ballot that was mailed to you via the UPS mail. Or you can go to voteearlynewyork.org for all information. So that is V-O-T-E-E-A-R-L-Y-N-Y dot O-R-G. Wear a mask, social distance, and exercise your right to do your civic duty. God bless. Okay, govern yourself accordingly as we get deep into the Word of God this evening. We are coming to you from the book of Genesis chapter 40. We find you in 37, we find you in 38 and 39. I have some gems which we dissect last Tuesday and we find the contempt in Mrs. Patifa's tongue which she, in other words, working according to the purpose of God that Joseph end up in prison. Because what God planned, nobody can cancel, nobody can derail, nobody can hinder the plan of God, the purpose of God, the will of God, the counsel of God. So therefore tonight we see that Joseph is incarcerated in prison. And we see what whatever Joseph is doing now, uh, it's just a matter of time that the purpose of God will stand sure and will brought this young man out of the incasterated position. Are you ready for Genesis chapter 40 as we look in verse 1 according to the scripture here? But before we get to chapter 40, we're going to just look to the Lord in prayer for his divine guidance and his inspiration. Shall we just look to the Lord in prayer? Father, we want to thank you for this moment when we can get into your rhema. We thank you for the word that you have given to us that we could dissect it and pull from it that we could edify our brothers and sisters. Tonight, Lord, I ask that you speak through me, speak for me. Let your word go forth with clarity and reason and ability and precision. Edify your saints, edify our e-members, edify all your children. This we ask in Jesus' powerful name, and we agree and say amen. So we get ready in chapter 40, and notes carefully from the King James Version. And it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended their lord, Ah, yes, the king of Egypt. They both offend the king of Egypt and were put into prison. But lo and behold, they met Joseph in there. And so verse 2 said, And Pharaoh was wrought against two of his officers, against the chief of the butler, and against the chief, of the bakers. Amen. And he put them in ward in the house of the captain of the guard into the prison, the place where Joseph was bound. 
I wonder if that location is a iris location so they got to put them into a special uh, segment of that location and so the scripture said and this and the certain of the God charge Joseph notice the word charge Joseph with them and he serve them and they continue as season in word oops in other words, they're like they were friends in there. Yes. In verse 5, where we have some gem. Because you might sell me, but you can't sell my dream. You might lie on me, but you can't lie on my dream. Whatever is happening, Joseph, dream, as a dreamer, is an interpreter of dreams. Let's go. And they dream a dream, both of them. Each man is dream in one night. <laughs> Each man according to the interpretation of his dream. The butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, which were bound in the prison. We notice that both man dream. But they don't have the ability to interpret the dream. They don't have the understanding or the revelation to dissect their own dream. So we find that Joseph has been brought in now as the interpreter in the reference of these two men. The butler and the baker. The butler, the baker. And we find that both dream dream at the same night. Mm -hmm. And according to the interpretation of his dream, the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, which were bound in prison. So therefore, the dream could not be reached outside. But what happened here, Joseph must go to prison to get this interpretation from these two men. Because the king sooner or later must dream also. Let's take our time to get deep in it. And if you're joining us one more time, now we are in uh, Genesis chapter 40, where we are looking at Joseph in castration. And not only that, he have interpretation also. And so we find that, and Joseph came in unto them the morning, and look and to them and beheld they were sad they were sad immediately Joseph find that something was wrong Joseph is a good man he has understanding he find that they look dishearted this please they must something must have gone wrong what's wrong with you man Joseph might ask and sit here and he asks fear officer that were with him in the ward of his lord of saying wherefore look ye so sadly today it seemed like problem get over them and so they were pondering hands at their jaw and Maybe tears might even preparing to come sooner or later because the dream is very hard. Something is in this dream that they need help with. But both men are sad according to the scripture here. And they said unto him, We have dream. A dream. And there is no interpreter of it. Can we pass there? They find themselves into a serious condition, a serious position, a serious problem. The dream that they dream, they can't interpret the dream. And so, here goes, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretation belongs to God, question sign. Tell me 
I pray you. Joseph gives them the antidote example for the dream. Interpretation come from God. Joseph begin to evangelize to them the gospel of our God. He said to them, interpretation belongs to God. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph and said to him, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me, and in the vine were three branches, and it was through it budded, and her blossom shot forth, and the cluster thereof brought forth ripe grapes. That sound like a deep hermeneutics, deep interpretation, deep eschatology, deep pneumatology, deep Christology, on all of the allergy you could try to put into this context here. Oh, sadly, my brother, the butler could never get into this deep and searchable thing because interpretation only can give revelation from God. And so here goes verse 11. And after and Pharaoh cup was in my hand and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh cup. Wow. And I gave the cup to fear our hands. <clears throat> and Joseph said unto him, This is the interpretation. Joseph is full of spiritual revelation, spiritual understanding. This man said, This is the interpretation of it. The tree branches are three days. Yet within three days shall fear lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy place. And thou shalt deliver fear a cup into his hand after the farmer manner when thou was his butler. In other words, the butler will get restoration. The butler will return to his assignment. The butler get back his job because of the inspiration and revelation of Joseph. The chief butler will get back his job. But here goes the baker now. Baker. But think on me when it shall be well. Joseph is making a request now. Think on me when it shall be well with thee. And show kindness, I pray thee, unto me. And make mention of me unto fear. And bring me out of this house or out of this prison domain. Joseph is, in other words, asking for your help. But can we go further as we look deep? For indeed, I was told away out of the land of the Hebrew. Joseph, in other words, is sharing what happened to him. And here also have I done nothing that they should put me into this dungeon. Did I say it? A dungeon is below in hurt. Deep down, when it's winter, I wonder, it's cold. It's a dungeon, mm, dark domain. Here goes the scripture answer, it, a dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, listen carefully, he said unto Joseph, I also dream. My dream. Hmm. And behold, I had three white baskets on my head. 
<laughs> and in the Atomos basket, there was all manner of baked meat for Pharaoh, and the bird did heat them out of the basket upon my head. Trouble is in doing. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The tree basket are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head from off thee and shall hang thee and a tree, my God, and the bird shall eat thy flesh of thee. Sad story for this interpretation of the dream. The baker sat still. Yes, Joseph answered and said, this is interpretation. Joseph could not hold back the interpretation although he knew exactly what it says. He tell it as it is. And the Bible says, And it came to pass the third day, which was fear of birthday. Hear me carefully. And it came to pass, which was fear of birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servant. And he lift up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again and he gave the cup unto fear and in other words the man get back his job and this man is in other words is fear right and as a chief butler everything that goes to fear um, eating drinking he is the man who test it and drink from it and see if everything is okay in other words, is a scientific man who makes sure everything is all right for Pharaoh. But here goes the scripture. But they hang the chief <laughs> baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot him. Look carefully in your Bible. Joseph make a request, my brothers and sisters, and request that when you get out, please mention my name. Joseph did it with a willing heart in helping this man. But note what the last portion of verse 23 say. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forget him. Can you imagine? God need no help from no chief butler to deliver Joseph out of this dungeon. Because God is Joseph's helper. God is Joseph's shield. God is Joseph's protector. Ah, yes, God is Joseph's interpreter because Joseph makes sure he says to the, that God is the one who gave interpretation to dream so therefore joseph was just making mention in human way to make mention my name to pharaoh the butler could not remember because god need no help to get joseph out God is absolute in his operation, absolute in his power. Therefore, God is not depending on man to mention Joseph's name to Pharaoh. Why you say that, Pastor? Because God need no help to get Joseph out. He need no other hand to get Joseph out. He need no other word to get Joseph out. He don't need nothing to get Joseph out. Because Joseph have a time to spend in there. Because other dream must come to pass. And here goes. Because God wants to make his way bigger than what these two uh, servants dream. 
God want the king himself to dream. To make it at a higher level. To make it more manifestation that in the eyes of man, King Pharaoh is helpless. And all his attributes are helpless. And all his right hands men are helpless. It's secret service they are helpless. And all of them could not interpret when the king dreamed. Can we go a little further? If you're just joining us one more time, we are in the book of Genesis chapter 40, and we're about to touch on 41. And so we find that the scripture continues to say, and it came to pass. Again, we find the said word, and it came to pass. At the end of two full years, that Pharaoh, can you imagine, 24 months more kicked in, and Joseph is still in prison. Two years. Before the dream of Pharaoh come into operation. Because God does not work with butler time or Pharaoh time. God work with his own time. His own purpose and his own will and his own counsel and his own plan. He does not need nobody to get Joseph out. God himself is coming to get Joseph out. And here goes two years full. That Pharaoh dream, and behold, he stood by the river. Behold, he stood by the river. And behold, there came uh, up out of the river seven well favored king and fantastalized, and they fed in a meadow. This is deep. And behold, seven as a king came up after them out of the river, hill, favored, and lame fleshed, and stood by the other king upon the brink of the river. And the ill favored and the lean fleshed king did eat of the seven well. Favored and fat keen, so fear awoke. Can I say out of his sleep? And he slept and dreamed the second time. And behold, seven years of corn came up <laughs> upon one stock, rank and good. And behold, seven thin ears and blasted with the heath winds sprung up after them. And the seven thin ears devoured the seven rank and full ears. And Pharaoh awoke, and behold, it was a dream. This bigger than King Pharaoh. This only gonna take the king of kings and the lord of lords. To send the interpretation to his son, Joseph, who is incarcerated under the stronghold hands of the said Pharaoh. That is very deep. So Pharaoh dreamed he could not even interpret himself. And all his soothsayers and astrologists could not even touch this dream. Because it is beyond their comprehension. It's beyond their thoughts, their reason, and their mind, and their knowledge. This is outside of the realms of human theory and human understanding. And so, the dream is a problem into the kingdom of the great king Pharaoh. Can we fry it a little more? Verse 8. And it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled. There's a knocking and fear door. The spirit, his spirit is troubled. And he sent and called for all his magician, number one, of Egypt, and all the wise men thereof. Number two, and Pharaoh told them his dream. 
but there was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh. In other words, Pharaoh seek for help. The magician. Mm, the magician. In Egypt, they have so many different gods. Gods of interpretation of this, God of interpretation of that. But this dream is bigger than magician also. It's bigger than their astrologists. Here goes Pharaoh sent and called them to interpret the dream because he himself is in trouble now. It's time for Pharaoh to be in trouble. This is not the butler and baker problem now. This is bigger than butler and baker. Oh, here goes. Then spake the chief butler. No, it's time for the chief butler. And to fear, saying, I do remember my fault this day. In other words, it's time for me to confess. I remember my fault this day. It's time to recollect. Because it's time is winding down for Joseph to be released. And not just release, but time for him to get a shave. Time to him to put on his ring. Time to put on his robe. Oh my God. It's a change is coming. The wind is blowing Joseph's way. Good God from Zion. Hallelujah. It's time. It's a time. It's a time. The time is knocking. Note in chapter 40, the butler did not have a recollection. In other words, God shut down man hell. By God. Because if you should depend on man to take you to the next level, you will reign at the same spot. Can we pause? This is in not, in, not in the context of this portion of scripture. But notice a man who was at the pool for 38 years. And every time he make a headway, somebody get in before him. But when the son of the most high God, the Messiah, came on the scene, he said, will thou be made whole? Will thou be made healed? He said, I have no one to put me in. No, Jesus did not ask him, do you have anybody to put you in? No. Jesus asked him, do you want to be made well? Do you want to get whole? Do you want to get healed? Do you want to get delivered? And no, this is what Joseph, in other words, saying to the butler. When you get out. Remember me. But no, the butler himself could not remember because God have a plan for Joseph. It's not about the butler should mention my name to Pharaoh. It's about God should give Pharaoh the dream. And notice the butler, the baker, they dream once. But Pharaoh dream twice. In other words, Pharaoh has a double dream to be interpreted. The butler could not even give an assistant in it. As Pharaoh right and tester. And the butler said, I do remember my dream. Remember my fault this day. Pharaoh was wrought with his servant and put me in war. In the captain of God's house, both me and the chief baker. In other words, we were sentenced or were incarcerated, just placed in there, that it would be at a time that Pharaoh might have festivity. He just called for them to be hung, to be killed. That's the way the dungeon operates. And he, and we dream a dream in one night. And no fear dream, two dream in one night. And he, I and he, we dream each man according to the interpretation of his dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there was, there with us, a young man, a young man, he, he, the, the butler, 
don't even remember Joseph's name. An Hebrew servant to the captain of the guard. Oh, praise God. And we told him, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To each man according to his dream, he did interpret it. So, the butler is giving his narrative to Pharaoh what took place and how it took place and who interpreted. And so here goes the butler now is testifying in making recommendation for this Hebrew man. Hebrew servant, Hebrew, can I say boy, according to the scripture, and it came to pass, as he interpreted to us, so it was me, he restored unto mine office, and in he had. What a recommendation. And so, the Bible says, Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. Notice what happened. He bring in his interpreter. He bring in his magician. They could not help. In other words, man failed. But here comes Joseph, who is fully loaded with the inspiration and revelation of God. The Bible said, and Pharaoh said, Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. Good God from Zion, the dungeon. And he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. That's the last time Joseph was going in any dungeon because God tipped him out. Pharaoh must send for Joseph. And the Bible says, can you imagine for the period of time Joseph never shaved? And it was hastily and speedily because it's imminent that something is about to take place because the Bible says Pharaoh's spirit was troubled. Pharaoh was in fear of what the dream is. So he need interpretation. He need the understanding of what dream this dream is all about. Can we go there further? And Pharaoh said <laughs> unto Joseph, I have dream a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. Can I pause here? Can you imagine the joy that might be in passing through Joseph's heart? Pharaoh said, There is none can interpret. None can interpret this dream. And the Bible says that can interpret it. And I have heard say of thee that thou can understand a dream to interpret it. Something just shifts. Right in the atmosphere here. Notice what Pharaoh says. And I heard the butler told Pharaoh and time. To hear the butler remember nothing. Can you imagine the man who interpret my dream, restore me back to my position, back to my office, back to my highly office, and, and could, could not recall, I remember two years. Is it 
is it it isn't supernatural that God alone can angle this case in reference to the king must dream to bring uh, Joseph out of the dungeon. And the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, and Joseph answered Pharaoh saying, it is not in me. Praise God, we could preach right there. It's nothing about me, King Pharaoh. It's nothing about Joseph that's standing before you. He answered accurately. Uh, again, I say, and almost shut down Pharaoh. It's not in me. It's not in me to propagate the gospel. It is not in me to dispense and teach the word of God. It is the spirit of God that gives the utterance. It's the spirit of God that gives the boldness. It's the spirit of God that gives the interpretation. It's not in me. Look in your Bible clearly. Verse 16. It is not in me. And there is two periodic signs there. So then, God, no. Yahweh Elohim, the Hal, the supreme subject, the I am that I am. In the book here, Joseph is saying it to Pharaoh. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. Did you hear that? Joseph is saying God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. In other words, Joseph is saying, it's not I going to give you the answer. It's a living and true God who's going to give you the answer, Pharaoh. An answer of peace. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, he began to give Joseph the dream. In my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of the river. Hmm. And behold, there came uh, up out of the river seven king, fat fleshed, well favored, and they fed in meadow. Oh, that looking good. But lo and behold, seven other king came up after them, poor and very ill, favored, lean flesh oh the first round looked like something is good but the second one does not look good such as i never saw in all the land of egypt for badness verse 20 and the lean and the hill favored keen did heat up the first seven fat keen Imago one eat up the first seven fat king. So there is a destruction taking place here. Problem is brewing. Trouble is brewing. Perplexity, anxiety is brewing because the king need to get an hasty answer. And when they had eat them up, it could not be known that they had eat them but they were still ill favored as it beginning so i awoke according to the scripture verse 22 and i saw in my dream and the old seven years came up in one star full of good and behold seven year withered thine and blasted with the east wind spring up after them and thine ears devoured the seven good ears and i told this unto the magician but there was none that could declare it unto me the king is helpless the king in my personal opinion, is at the mercy of Joseph's interpretation because Joseph is God's vice box now. 
to the king. The king need an answer and could not get it from the magician. He says the magician could not help. His soothsayers, they could not help. No, now. And Joseph has the answer. Joseph has the clarity of reason and ability and precision. So much thing happened to Joseph, but they call on him now for the interpretation. Joseph has the antidote for the king dream. Joseph has the answer to the king dream. Joseph has the mechanism for the king dream. This is deep, brother. This is deep, sister. Let's look what Joseph says. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Joseph. And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, the dream of Pharaoh is one. The dream of Pharaoh is one. This man of God is deep. God has shown Pharaoh what he is about to do. So we go back to the butler. That God does not need the butler to make recommendations. I beg Pharaoh to release Joseph. No, God don't need no help. God had show Pharaoh what he is about to do. The seven good king are seven ears. And the seven good ears are seven ears. The dream is one. The dream is one. Because there is only one God. Father of Almighty. Father of all kings of kings. He is the supreme being. He knows exactly how to get king to sit down. He knows how to get prime ministers to sit down. He can raise up one king and he can pull down one king. He can move any prime minister, any president, any moment he wants. To because he is the only boss of the universe. And notice what Joseph said. This is deep that you can look. 25 said, And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, The dream, the dream of Pharaoh is one. Note now, God has showed Pharaoh what he's about to do. Oh, praise God. And he says, And the seventh thing and hill fattered the favored king that came up after them are seven ears and the seven ear is empty in other words famine is brewing can we take one or two more verse and we will wrap it up seven ear blasted with the east wind shall be seven years of famine and notice who is blowing the wind the master of the sea the one who have the ability to speak to the storm and speak to the wind and said, peace be still. Good God from heaven. Verse 28 said, this is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh. What God is about to do is showed unto Pharaoh. Behold, there come seven years great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt. In other words, seven year blessing. But look out, seven year famine is coming. And there shall rise, arise after them seven years of famine. And all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt. And the famine shall consume the land. In other words, when it is glamorous and, and, and fatted, oh, nobody is putting up nothing. Nobody is, uh, in other words, lay away nothing. They, they're just glamorous. It's glorious. It's corn time. It's peace time. Everything is good, but look out. Famine is coming. Pharaoh did not have an answer. 
for this manifestation of the dream? Can we, can we, can we, can we pick up next week, Tuesday, for this next round, to see a young man that they change his name from Joseph, his own brother, say, here comes a dreamer. They might sell you, but they can't sell your dream. They might imprison you, but they cannot imprison your dream. Because anywhere Joseph go, his dream go with him. It's just like a preacher man, anywhere he go, once he's an anointed servant, is a 19 go with him. It's transparent. It travels wherever you go. If you are an ambassador for Christ, you are an ambassador, whether in the United States, in Canada, all over, anywhere you go, you are just a servant of God. In prison, you don't change because your dream cannot be changed by nobody. Your anointing cannot be shifted because you possess that. It's given to you by God. And so we see that all that did to Joseph could not stop Joseph's dream. Although the contempt and the lying tongue of Mrs. Patiphar, Mrs. Zunuski, could not shift Joseph from the position that God purposed from before times he owned. From before the age began, God planned that Joseph would rise up in Egypt and become second in command to Pharaoh. Nothing can stop that, but it's only work with timing. Joseph could not go into prison before the time. And it could not be called before the time. Because God is the absolute maker of time. He is the dispenser of time. Because God himself is time. Time is not a problem to God. Because he is the owner and maker of time. I want to thank you one and all for listening to this Pastor Boris from Gospel Way Deliverance Ministry. And I salute you. Please note that you could continue to. Subscribe to Gospel Way Deliverance YouTube Ministry. Tell somebody about the good news of Jesus Christ. You are also a fisher of men. Do your diligence as an ambassador for Christ. Spread the good news. Even in prison, Joseph was spreading the news about God. He said it to the baker. He said it to the butler and he said it to Pharaoh. God is the one who gives the interpretation. Can you tell somebody that God gives the interpretation? God gives the promotion. God gives the deliverance. God gives the healing. God gives the saving grace. You can spread the news just like Joseph. I'm submitting to you tonight. Be an ambassador for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you hear this word and you knew that you knew that you'd like to be a part and apostle of the gospel of Christ, you will you his right now, you could just bow your head and say like the Sun Colleges, I surrender all. All to Jesus I surrender. I will ever love and trust him in his daily life. I surrender all. You owe that to God because your life is in his hand. God bless you tonight. God keep you. Please feel free to subscribe to Gospel Way Deliverance YouTube Ministry. God bless you in Jesus name as we are about to look to the Lord in prayer as we seek the presence of our God. Father we thank you for your word. We thank you God that your word is a light and a lamp unto our pathway. Even tonight, I pray you speak to somebody out that you alone is God. And there is no other God beside thee. You are the only wise, king, immortal, invisible. You are only true and living God. So tonight, I will bless your worthy name. That you will rescue somebody from the dungeon of prison. Rescue somebody out of the dark domain. Oh God, you call Joseph 
and set him up an eye. And tonight you can call somebody and release them from the prison of dark domain. Thank you for hearing us tonight, holy God. As we give the praise, we give it the glory, we give it the hallelujah. This we ask in Jesus' name. Let we just believe God and say now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us flawless before his exceedingly greatness. To him be the glory in the ecclesia and in Christ Jesus for all the generation of the eons of the eons. God bless you, my fellow brother. God bless you, my fellow sister. Stay sweet, stay strong. Please observe and protect yourself in this pandemic time. God bless you.